hear your and have a seat here for the getting ready for the basement party. On the road with God, Jackson Kirsten is the vacation by the board. That's what you can see. It's June 25th through the 27th from 6 to 7 30 p.m. Our on station scripture comes from Matthew 6 11. Give us this day our daily bread. You will have classes for all ages and registration is required. You can register at the SWBC website or get a form from the lobby by the next Sunday. Well, it was last Sunday, April 30th through May 20th. So you have until May 20th to register. The annual Missionary One Day Conference will be held at First Baptist Church, 700 Highway Avenue on Saturday, June 10th. Registration begins at 9 a.m. The conference is at 10 a.m. Seniors are asking of any youth or young adults who would like to attend, please see Sister Jeanette Kelly or Sister Geneva King or Minister Anna Zenon or Dr. Kim Bethany. By May 28th. We are so thankful for the support and prayers of our first president. If you are a member of a high school or college band attending this, we want your information so we can celebrate you with our annual college day celebration, which is June 25th. Please look up a form from the table in the foyer or from the bench as you exit out. Thank you. Then drop your completed form in the basket in the foyer no later than June 4th. Congratulations to your academic achievement. All persons who have signed up for the First Law Crown Christian Gear bus tour, in their footsteps, please see Sister Myrtle Harrison to pay and reserve your seat. It's a $20 fee is required, which covers the fee for hotel, bus transportation, and more. You will also need to get a lunch flyer from her or Sister Whitney Kaufman, which will allow you to choose items that will be available for your lunch. Lunch hour. The last day to register um, and train in your lunch option and pay for the tour is Sunday, June 4th. Uh, you don't want to miss any of this. If you would like any further announcements, um, please put them up on the slide. Okay, you don't have to say it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Greg, for those announcements. Double not fail accordingly. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace of the Lord. Bless you going out, coming in, downstairs, and up rising. In your baskets and eagles, the eagle of the Lord, you will feed and you will feed still. And my family, and all of my family and myself, the best for you and did you come and speak by saying God be with you and be blessed to you.
Word of God, I just not move at all. Amen. God bless Dr.
working on all of us. Yeah, he's still working on all of us. We do this love to me, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with what? All thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and thy strength, and our neighbor as ourselves. Now we got hung up somehow or another on this third piece to this message and been on it now for a couple of months where we're talking about loving God as we love each other. Sharing love from God with each other. Loving your neighbor as we do ourselves. Last time together, we were in Galatians chapter 5, so you may want to slip over there real quick because three minutes, two minutes of my time is already gone. I got seven minutes left with a two-minute break. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. And we won't even go into 23 because I want to deal with the first clause of 22. Galatians 5. You have it? Let's read all the way down to the word faithfulness. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, love joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. We pause right there. There's a comma there because we just carried right on into verse 23 when we talk about gentleness, self control, so forth, so on. I want you to underscore that word love, even if you do it in your mind, in your heart. Just underscore that one word love. Now we talked about it. The last time we were together, last Sunday, Lady Smith did a beautiful ministry from this platform last Sunday. And didn't, didn't she do, didn't, didn't she minister beautiful last Sunday? And we thank God for it. That's the wife of our pastor, Frank Smith. And God used her in a great way last Sunday. She ministered to us, talking about ashes to ashes, dust to dust. She said, when the dust settles, let me tell you, she kicked up some dust in here last Sunday, and then she watched the dust settle. Man, some things happen when the dust settles. That was a Sabbath day, I believe. Did a good job. Because Pastor Lady Smith did a good job. God bless you. I underscore that word love because we talked about these uh, this fruit, these, these virtues the last time we were together. Talked about it from different aspects, from different angles, said different things about it. Let me, let me just kind of give you this with the little time I have today, and I'll probably give you one or maybe two more passages of scripture. One thing I want you to notice about these virtues here in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. One thing I want you to notice about these virtues is, is that they don't come from our own power. Please notice that. that they don't come from any power of our own. But they come from the power of of the Holy Spirit in us. When you read this passage, the whole, the whole thing, 5, 22, 23, you'll understand that, that none of this comes from us. Make sure you get that. It does not come from us. They all come from the power of God's Spirit in us. These are the virtues Paul calls it when he paints this picture. Virtue that comes out of born again believers that fill with the Spirit. And I said to you, I think on evening, the last time we were together a few Sundays ago, when I was dealing with this a few Sundays ago, I think we 
we have an input on the note that we send to you that when you look at these verses, fruit as he called it, they are produced from us. But every fruit has a season in which it is produced. They all don't manifest at the same time. Fruit has seasons that they go through and seasons in which they produce. So much like the believer, sometimes we have joy, but our love is not being produced. Sometimes we can have joy, but then we don't feel so lovely about certain things and certain people. Anybody ever been there? Now, I know some of us have, because I know some of our fruit is produced all year round, 12 months out of the season. You just don't show that it is, but I, I know it is. I know it is. Sometimes you can have joy, don't have the peace. Sometimes you can have the kindness, but not the goodness. But what I'm saying to you is that as the Holy Spirit, as we yield to the Holy Spirit, these virtues will be produced out of us. And sometimes it's over a period of time. Sometimes the Holy Spirit has to prune us like you do a tree so that it will produce more fruit. Some of us are producing, but we're just not sometimes producing as much of this fruit as we should in certain of these virtues that we read about. One, one of the similarities that I want to give you out of the two that we've already talked about between real fruit and the spiritual variety is the fact that physical fruit is good for you. And if you remember the last time we were together on this message, I let you all talk about the uh, what fruit is good for. What what you all gave me some similarities of a word that that you came up with that described the fruit and the purpose of the fruit and what it produces. But 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 you some somebody mentioned it providing vitamins and fiber and so forth and so on. And so when when I heard you as you ministered the last we were together, I had to go back and look at this again, and I had to understand there's another similarity between this real fruit and, and the spiritual variety of the fruit that Paul talks about here in Galatians chapter 5, and, and here's what I came to understand, that, that these spiritual qualities, just like the physical or natural quality of fruit is good for you, these spiritual qualities are also good for us. I mean, somebody tell me if you're filled with the Spirit, tell me if love is not good for you. Tell me if joy is not good for you. If peace is not good for you. If long-suffering and kindness and goodness and and faithfulness and just and, and on down and on down. Tell, tell me if that's not good for you. As, as a believer, when Paul paints this word picture about fruit, he, he is saying these virtues are also good for spirit-filled believers. You, you can't go around talking about the love of Christ and hating everybody you come in contact with. You can't go around talking about joy and looking like you're sucking on a lemon every time you greet somebody. I'm like you're smelling your other lips. You ever see anybody smell their other lips? And they don't even like what they smell themselves. I'm telling you, boy. Some, some you ever see anybody do that? I've seen them folks. I've done that before, too. When I'm getting ready to go into the midst of people, sometimes... I do, a, I do a smell check. <laughs> Make you listen. <laughs> and sometimes the first thing you do is grab a what? A mint? Piece of gum? Try to freshen it up. Listen, how would you look? Say you're 
Love. 
Take that and let somebody else find out what it's about. You can know something or you can know a thing about somebody. It's not your place to condemn them. You know, I've been a Christian all these years.
don't have to come to with you just to go get in. They're passing just me. But I'm praying. This is my family. This is my family. That's right. You don't have your family. Thank you. 
this last Sunday, April 30th through May 28th. So you have until May 28th to register. The annual missionary one day conference will be held at First Baptist Church, 700 Highland Avenue on Saturday, June 10th. Registration begins at 9 a.m. The conference is at 10 a.m. Seniors are asking if any youth or young adults who would like to attend, please see Sister Jeanette Kelly or Sister Geneva Payne or Minister Pamela Goodine or Dr. Tina by May 28th. We are so thankful for the support and prayers of our first church family. If you are a member of a high school or college class of 2023, we want your information so we can celebrate you during our annual college day celebration, which is June 25th. Please pick up a form from the table in the foyer or from the bench as you exit out. Thank you. Then drop your contingent form in the basket in the foyer no later than June 4th. Congratulations to your academic achievements. All persons who have signed up for the First World Talent Search Inheritance Bus Tour in their footsteps, please see Sister Myrtle Harrison to pay and reserve your seat. It's a $20 fee is required, which covers the fee for Oak Salem, bus transportation, and lunch. You will also need to get a lunch flyer from her or Sister Whitney Crawford, which will allow you to choose items that will be avail available for your lunch box. Lunch box. The last day to register um, a training yard lunch options and pay for the tour is Sunday, June 4th. Uh, you don't want to miss the event. If you would like any further announcements, um, please pick them up as you exit out. I pray you all have a great day and a great week. Now we can stand again. Thank you, Greg, for those announcements. Govern ourselves accordingly. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance to you and give you peace so long. Bless you going out, coming in, down city, and uprising. In your baskets, your fields, your store, your barns, your seed, and your seed seed. And my family, all of my family and myself, we say to all of you, we love you and wish the best for you. And did you God's speed by saying, God be with you. If you were blessed by today's message and have decided to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, or you want to be reconciled in your relationship with the Lord, please feel free to contact us by either sending a message through Facebook or going to our website, firstwalltown.org. You will find contact information on the link in the upper right-hand corner. Be blessed.